guys welcome back to my channel it is your boy tdx saver today we're gonna be going over my defensive ebook in madden 25 currently i am running the buffalo bills defense and they have two really decent formations that i've been running a lot of and it's gonna be the four three over which is uh probably one of the more unique ways to get the double a gap blitz blitz um but i've been running four three over and then nickel double mug okay the double mug is probably the best in my opinion um double a gap blitz it's the one you're gonna see most common so i'm gonna show you how to set it up real quick and how to uh, maybe disguise some things in the play so that people don't always think you're just running man coverage against them so for me what i like to do is i like to put two outside linebackers blitzing in the a gap right so for me it's actually i know it says divine diablo and quay walker here but number 56 is um quincy williams and number 41 is josh Hines allen so i have both my outside linebackers blitzing through the a gap my my middle linebackers are actually the guys on the edge so five and seven is divine diablo and quay walker both have like 86 speed on my team so they're fast enough to get out to the corners to guard in zone coverage and then my defensive ends i actually have julius peppers so the, the four interior are defensive ends and outside linebackers and you have line and then you have middle linebackers playing at the edge of the line of scrimmage uh for my zone drops i do 10 yard flats curl flats are around 25 to 30 depending on how deep the, the you know the corner routes that you're defending are and then my hooks are anywhere from 10 to 15. Um, once we start getting faster quarterbacks, I think it's always smart to come in and change your option defense to conservative because people will always try and steal a, like a first down by doing like a QB run. So I like to keep it on conservative as well. But this is like my de defensive adjustments. If you don't know how to get to there, when you're on your defensive screen, like play calls, you're going to hit the right stick in and that's going to open up your coach adjustments. But let's get into the actual play. So what I like to do is I like to come out and double mug and I like to run nickel dog three buzz. It is a cover three, right? And pretty cool about this play, you have the slot safety in a blitz. And if you really want to, what you can do is you can actually man up this player on one of the, on, on any of the receivers that he's near. So you have like, kind of like a cover three man almost. And then you have your four down linemen. And what you're gonna wanna do with your, with, with your user who's in the hook zone, right? In the green hook zone, you're gonna hover them right in between the A gap. And you're gonna watch as the two A-gap guys overload the center and try their best to get in for pressure. Now, obviously that time it didn't work and he, the quarterback had a bunch of time, but it's like one of those things where it, it doesn't always happen every time, but it can happen. So you wanna bring this thing down, you wanna bring your user down to hover over the A-gap and then just sit here hovering right in the, in the middle of the A-gap. And then you wanna get back and play defense. You wanna go back and actually play your zone. Another big thing this year in Madden is they added the switch stick to where you can actually switch between zone defenders fast without having to hit B, right? So they actually added that in to make it a lot more effective and add a bigger skill gap to the defensive side of the ball. And I, I think that really honestly, it doesn't matter what you call, if you don't learn how to switch stick, which is actually gonna be the right stick down when you're uh, pointing the right stick in the direction of which you wanna switch your player to. And it is one of the hardest things to get used to in this game, but switch sticking is going to take you from bad at defense to insanely good at defense. We're gonna actually switch to, we're gonna we're gonna switch to play and we're gonna go to, to uh, mid blitz. Mid blitz is a little bit, I, I think mid blitz is a little bit better because you can actually set up some pretty unique defense out of it. So what I like to do here, right? I like to put all of the safeties in zone, right? So we're gonna do this. And then we'll put this guy in a hard flat. You'll put both of your outside linebackers in a hard flat. Have it set up kind of like this. And what you can do is you can use her over the guy who was originally manned up to your running back. So you see, I set it up kind of like this. We're gonna use her Harrison Jr. who was manned up on the running back. And then we're gonna hope that the A-gap pressure actually comes through. I'm surprised, did they, did they patch the A-gap blitz like in my sleep? Did I, did I not see it? Kind of like this, you wanna have a cover three shell on top. And then you wanna put your outside linebackers in flats or in curls, and they'll be set up kind of like this with you manned up on the running back. And you wanna sit in the A-gap. And like I said, it's not a 100% guarantee that you're gonna get the blitz in the A-gap to come through, but you usually get pressure. I'm just shocked that it's not happening at all. You go online and face a double A-gap blitz, you are getting screamed to hell every time. 
we're gonna switch to a different formation but y'all know if you guys play online on this game that a gap blitz comes in crazy all the time that's how you set it up online it'll work online the ai is just killing me so for this next one we're gonna be in four three over and the two plays i like to run are tampa two and cover four um tampa two is always nice um but uh, here we go for this, how we set it up. We're gonna pinch our D line. So it's gonna be left on the D pad, down on the left stick. And then we're going to shade inside, which is gonna be the same thing, left on the D pad, down on the right stick. And then we're gonna move our linebackers. Oh, uh, so how to set this up properly, guys. You are going to pinch your D line, slant them inside. Then you're gonna spread your linebackers and you're gonna take your outside linebacker and hover over the tackle that you're bringing down. So you're bringing down the right middle linebacker, you're hover over the right tackle. Bring them down the left, tight end. If you're bringing down the, the left linebacker, hover over the, the left tackle. So you'll see what I mean. Pinch, slant inside, spread. This time we're gonna bring Quincy Williams down over the left tackle and watch the defensive line try and get through that. Oh, there we go. Dude, finally, bro. Took forever, but that is the A-gap blitz. Maybe maybe you maybe you can only do it hovering over the right tackle. So yeah, we'll try this again. Hover over the right tackle, pinch, crash down, which is uh, slant inside for your D line, and it'll look like that. They're all going to be coming right towards that A gap. You hike it, or then whenever they decide to hike it, and you should get pretty good pressure that time. It didn't really look like I got any. Here we go. This might work pretty well here against a bunch formation. There we go. Jordan Davis comes in screaming the move right there. Hover over the right tackle with Divine Diablo or whoever you are using. And you're just going to hope and pray you get pressure. They came in, got the sack. That's two in a row. Now y'all see what I'm talking about, man. This 4-3 over out of the Bills. It's in a couple other playbooks as well. Um, I'll actually put on the screen what other playbooks 4-3 over is in. But it is so good. It is probably the best blitz in the game. Like, as y'all saw, double A gap, it wasn't even, like, double mug wasn't even coming in. But this is, like, this is actually working pretty consistently here. Just, it hollers, man. It hollers. But yeah, just pinch, crash inside, spread your linebackers, and then hover over the right tackle with your user. And you should get pretty good pressure with this blitz. That's a nice user pick from me with Divine Diablo, the best user in the game, apparently. But yeah, guys, those are the two formations that I've been running a lot online out of the Bills defensive ebook. It is the 4-3 over and the double mug blitz. It is super efficient online. It's what you're going to be facing up against a lot, too. And the good thing is my, my offensive ebook, the Packers one, has a lot of quick routes that you can quick quickly beat this type of blitz. And the biggest thing about online games is just being able to get pressure on these quarterbacks because at the beginning of the year, their overalls are so low that the, the more you can affect the quarterback in the pocket, the more opportunities you're going to get for turnovers. But yeah, guys, that is the defensive ebook. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It has been your boy, T-Dick Saber, and I am out. Peace.